How's it going, everyone? And welcome to Paranormal Entities. This is a game that I picked up on itch.io or itch.io. Um, it's a game that caught my interest just from the description alone. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite found footage films, Grave Encounters. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. It's kind of like Ghost Adventures, except it's fake. Um, it's about these people that are filming for their like paranormal show and they go into like supposedly haunted places and film. And the description on the website was just just the same as this. Um, you are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities, the number two ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network. I wonder what the number one is. Uh, you have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. You will go into this facility and follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece. Keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside why <laughs> if nothing happens you will get five hundred dollars for your time if you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera so yes just from that description alone i'm very interested and if i'm not mistaken i think this game was made in like 10 days for some kind of scare jam uh, back in 2020. I'm not really sure what that is. But yes, this game has been out for quite a while. And I didn't really know anything about this game until I seen um, one of my favorite YouTubers here, here on YouTube uh, played it. And I was like, that's interesting. I'm going to check that out. And yeah, so we're going to play Paranormal Entities and figure out what this game has in store for us. All right, Clint. Uh, Whoa. Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My Whoa. producer Tom said good Jesus. things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. All right, so we're here, St. Augustine's Mental Asylum, and there's Jesus. So we're here to pay off some college debts. Are we that desperate that we came here by ourselves? Uh, can we leave? No, we cannot leave. Okay, perfect. These artworks. That's awful. Okay, we're not going to look at that. Oh, that's awful. Okay, do we go this way? What does this say? Directory, main lobby, west social area, east social area, morgue. How perfect. And then we got some room numbers. Do we go this way? Nice, the door was oh, unlocked. This is awful. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the same Can't read that. Asylum for the mentally ill. It was founded in the 1880s, close it's a Bible. to the 1960s. And a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. That's so sad. People would just drop their loved ones off and forget about them. All right, so there's a Bible. Did we pick it up? In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence nobody cared and once you came to this place you never left never left i have a feeling we're probably not going to be getting out of here so how we go this way this is scary the uh, hallways patients would convene and that we that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care then the war hit the depression hit and it's not letting us out apart the room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. What? Be careful where you step. Where we step? 
All those broken bottles. What does all this say? What does that say? The chemistry of depression. How awful. What is this? Ah, Alright, this is a good place to start. Oh. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Why? Okay, Why do we want to do that? Please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. That's an awful idea. We're going to like invite okay, something that in back. that we don't want. <laughs> Like the devil. Know that you're here. They better not say anything. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try it again. Oh, do we go over here? All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. No, that's a bad idea. To come to life. Just give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. We're going to invite something in All that right, we don't want. That. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. One more spot. Oh, over there. It's right here. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Stop, Show up no. Or piss off. Oh. oh, that was scary. See, I told you that was a bad idea. You're gonna piss them off. Pricks. Show up or piss off. What are you doing? Stop. With those laughing. Is that laughing or crying? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Alright, alright, we looks like we got an investigation. Alright, I want you to go down the morgue hallway and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. No, that's I don't wanna go in the morgue. I don't even wanna be here. Patient's room. So where's the morgue? What does this say over here? Uh patients, nurses office, administrative okay. Human resources. Is it this way? Uh, morgue. Surgical room. Pharmacy. Is it this way? Why am I here okay, by myself? Okay, areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. How They'll perfect. Go this room and perform a summoning ceremony. No, so walk what? Walk into the center and we will begin. Why? It's not that important. Can we go this way? No. I don't like these artworks. Look at that. That's awful. Do we go in here? Broken bottles everywhere. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh. No! We can't get out. We can't get out. I bet we can't get out. Nope, we sure can't. How perfect. Patients rooms. Uh, where did he say to go? The east something? Patients room? You can go that way. What's this? Staircase to floor two. You can go that way. Everything's locked. What does this say? Okay. This way? Nope. Well, all doors are locked, so where am I supposed to go? Producer? Hello? You better answer me. That door is locked. We cannot go that way. Where do I go? And try the doors again. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but of course. it could be a challenge for society. Of course. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does suck. I'll go try this door again. What was this? Surgery. Administrative. Uh, is it 
entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. We're going to go down there, aren't we? He a pervert with a nickname, the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came That's here to awful. the loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. Ceremony? Spirits inside. Oh, no, 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 no. We know that you're here. No, 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 no. We release you from your restraints. No, no. Come forward and live again. I don't want to do this. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. Who is that? You may be seen, interact, no, no. and manipulate oh. him in any way. Oh, whoa, whoa. Fit. What did we just do? What did we just do? I don't want to be here. What is that noise? Can we leave? Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the way that the murderer was down, right? Why are we going down here? Those doors are locked. Those doors are locked. <laughs> That's locked. I, it's not like I want to go in there anyway. That's open. Hello? Oh! Can we close the door? What is that noise? Whoa. What was that? The bed. The bed? The bed flew. <laughs> Can we go this way? Can't go that way. What about this way? What was that? What was that? Can we go this way? It's just a room full of boxes? Fragile? Can't go that way. Oh, we can go this way. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, the rooms are so small. That's awful. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is... There's a scene in Grave Encounters just like this. There's a woman standing in the corner and she turns around and like her face like morphs into a really scary ghost face. So is that is that what's about to happen right now? Ma'am? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cut him out. Don't see peeper. No eyes. Get out. Get out. Run. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Go to the front. Oh. Oh. What's happening? Run. Well, I'm holding down shift. And this is as fast as I can go. Oh, oh, I heard something. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Take a second right. Okay. What was that? This is the way we came, right? Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take staircase. The staircase up to the second floor. And I think that was. You should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Staircase to second floor. I remember where that was. Go up. Did we go up? That door closed. Something tells me we can't go back that way. This... It's locked. 
He's social area pharmacy fire escape. Fire escape. That's where he said to go. Where do I go? Back down? Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Uh, well, we can't go that... Was that there before? That was not there before. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. No. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? Permanent... All right, all right, get gas chamber silent room I don't think you got any other choice I think you gotta make your way downstairs um I don't think this is real what is this saying what is that what is that Judas cradle brazen bull the boat what does that even mean we can't go that way we're just gonna, gonna go further and further down, I guess. What does this say? We see you? Can't go in there. We're just gonna, we're gonna go further and further down. Surgery. I bet this is gonna be open, huh? Yep. Another summoning circle. Oh, that's awful. That closed. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. What is that? Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, that, how awful. It's not like I want to go in there anyway. All doors are locked. Is this going to be locked? Oh, it's open. Oh, I, I just know the hallways are going to change, aren't they? That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Is everything just going to be locked? Everything's locked. So what am I supposed to do? Go back? hallway is going to be different, isn't it? That's locked. Oh, this is open. Check these doors, I guess. Did this change? I can't really tell. Ah, huh. finally. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> I was gonna say finally an open door. I don't know what that was. Jeez, there's so many locked doors. Let's just keep going, I guess. Those are locked. God, so many locked doors. Is this going to be open? No. Oh, that changed. Where'd the hallway go? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't see no eyes. Oh, we're uh, caged in now. Oh, there's blood on the floor. Wait, I saw... I saw something there. It's wanting us to look up, isn't it? Oh! That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Where'd our flashlight go? Oh, okay. Oh, where are we? Oh, no, 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 no. That's awful. Let's get out of here. 
There's blood all over the floor. Okay, something tells me we are not getting out of here. We can't even go this way. Oh, we can go this way. What is this? The doctor's room? Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's, There's eyeballs on the desk. I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Mm. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And what? while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. Mm. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Why is our producer not with us? Why are we by ourselves? Like, he could have came in here with us. So we gotta get out of here. Something tells me we are not getting out of here. Oh! Those bars are gone. Oh! Damn flashlight broke. Of I course. Can't use that anymore. What is this? Oh, this is caged up uh, as well. Can't go that way. What was that? We don't have a flashlight no more, so I can't see. Oh. I don't... I can't see what's happening. Okay. Oh, we can go this way now. Okay, let's go this way. Another body. What was that? What was that? It's another body there. Oh. oh. I'm trying. I'm holding down shift. This is as fast as I can go. Come on. I feel like something's following us. Come on, doors. You gotta open faster. I feel like something's following us. No, we can't get out. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a scout hole. What is that? What is that? You got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. No. What is that? So we have a choice. Cut our eyes out or let it get us. Oh, it's getting closer. I don't know what to do. This is it, man. Make your decision now. What's uh, it gonna be? Uh, 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 I don't know. Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Was that the right answer? Are you alright? No. I know you're not, huh? Holy crap. What kind of question is that? All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, There's no light. Of course room, it is. There's nothing I could see. <laughs> the flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm Hell no. <laughs> Look, you better get your ass uh, in this hospital and find me. You can't feel anything. I, I'm sorry, but you're just gonna leave we're not me. Coming. I'm sorry, man. You're just gonna leave me in here. Go. I'm sorry. This was a setup. Is that it? 
paranormal entities. Is that it? Thank you for playing. Please leave a review on the page and let me know what you thought about this, about the game. Uh, it was made by, is that AI heck? Um, made in 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 event. Um, uh, da, 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 da. The entire game was built with uh, Game Dev HQ training and its library. Okay. Well, all right, guys, that was Paranormal Entity. It was pretty short. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I liked it for what it was. Like I said, it was made in 10 days, so it wasn't going to, I knew it wasn't going to be like spectacular, you know. But uh, for a game being developed in 10 days, I say I would say that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys thought of the game down in the comments. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and end the video here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel uh, to see more videos like this. And hit the bell so you know when I post next. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Stay out of mental asylums, please. And do not ag on demons and ghosts because this could happen to you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.